going on guys thanks for coming and checking out today's video working on my 08 wrangler today got some trouble codes for the abs module basically uh the abs module is taking a dump finally in this thing and we're looking at code uh, c2200 interlock brake module internal failure okay so in today's video we're going to replace that which is super duper easy and i'm going to show you how to program it um, with a bi-directional scanner that i got on amazon that will uh yeah pretty much allow you to program the module because the module needs to be programmed and you don't have to take it to the dealer okay all right so we're looking at the abs module this is the abs module for an 07 to an 11 jk to 2012 and up jk is different all right um so this is going to be a dealer only part or a factory only part. It does come with new seals, new bolts. Um, I have the part number down in the description box for 07 to 11. Um, this will require programming, which I'm going to show you in a bit. The module is right here. I'm uh, going to need to get this loose so we don't have to take apart any brake lines. I'm going to have a 10 millimeter here. Pop this guy loose. Okay. So the connector for the harness is a little clip. You have to unclip and then pull up this guy here and then we'll unlock the connector all right so once you have the 10 millimeter bolt out and the connector undone you're going to need to want we're going to want to move the module out this way there's some grommets and some pins at the bottom of it holding it in we're going to have to unpry that and then it'll just move right over can be a little stubborn I'll show you exactly what it looks like once we get it up. Hopefully you can see these little herbal grommets here and the pins that are holding it in. Now it's just going to be four of these torques right here. Bottom ones are harder to get to, so you go after those first. Break these guys loose. Okay. Cut those out. Now the module will just pop right off. And there we have it okay now the new one does come with all these seals that i am going to replace and i'm going to clean all this stuff off it's kind of gross in here this is a neat little tool that i found on amazon it's called an air duster um pretty much it um it's like having compressed air in my pocket it's not as strong as compressed air but it definitely works uh, it's got three speeds it works really really well i'll leave a link in the description box for it so you can check it out it, it doubles as a vacuum too but it works great just to blow small things off as you can tell it got all the dirt loose dirt right off of it real quick i'm going to replace all these seals the new one does come with the seals um, there's no way wrong way of installing these uh, they're the same front and back and the new ones are lubed up a little bit you can see there's a little bit of oil in there so you don't have to lube them up uh, I'm just going to grab a pick tool and start picking all these guys off. Okay. Bam. So I just want to say I'm sorry if the video isn't very bright, but it's really early in the morning. And I'm using my action camera that I hate. It doesn't work very well. This is a DJ Osmo 1. And the video quality of it isn't very good. I'm sorry. But what I'm working with today, okay. This bad boy just plugs right in. I'm gonna be kind of strong here. Pusher on, and I'm going to use the new Torx. Tighten this guy up. Okay, we're just going to put the module back down where it's supposed to go. This is going to be kind of fun. Okay, cut her back on there. Get the 10 millimeter. Put her back in. All right, now I get the harness and push her on there. Lock her down. There we go. Okay, now we're off to programming. Before we go program, we're gonna clean this thing off because we're gonna have to drive it, so get it ready to drive. Right. Get the scanner, hook it up. 
So as soon as you start the Jeep up, you're gonna have all the lights on, letting you know everything's all messed up. We're gonna use this launch scanner I have right here. This is a bi-directional scanner. And what that means is that it'll actually let me go into modules and do programming. You can reset oil life. You can look at live data. Um, you can look at data on like all your switches and see if they're working. This thing works really well to diagnose cars like a thousand steps further than a code reader, okay? Um, the thing's already paid for itself like 10 times over. Um, and it's preventing me from going to the dealer today and spending like $200 to have this thing programmed. I'll show you real quick how it works. I'll leave a link down in the description box so you can see um, the actual information on it. And if you want to get one, you can pick one up there. Um, but we're going to actually go to 16 pin connector and we're going to automatic search. We're going to hit OK. And it's going to verify that we're working on Jeep. I'm going to talk to it. We're going to go to system selection. Okay. And then we're going to go to the ABS system we're gonna go to special function now we're gonna initialize the ABS system okay okay now it's gonna ask you for a whole bunch of things and it's gonna tell you what to do And I probably want to make sure the steering wheel is straight too, just in case, because ESP and uh... now right here it says to complete the programming, um, have the engine running, and drive between three and fifteen miles per hour with a turn that is ninety degrees wide. So we're gonna go do that, okay? Come up here and I'm gonna do a complete like 90 degree turn because that's what it wants to see. You're gonna do another 90 degree turn. Okay. And it's really gonna, I'm gonna come up to a stop sign right here and it really wants me to do a complete stop and then another 90 degree turn. That should complete the programming on this thing. Okay, stop and 90 degree turn. All right, back in the driveway. Initiation complete. Now I'll start this guy up. Okay. So what happened was it told me that everything would stop beeping um, when it was complete, but that didn't happen. Actually, on the scanner, it told me everything was done. Turn it off, turn it back on. Um, no lights. I'll go on a test drive real quick to confirm everything's cool. But that's pretty much it with the programming. Just plug the scanner in, do what it tells you to do, and you can pretty much program almost any module with this freaking thing, which is super awesome. Um, saved me like 200 bucks. And again, it's worth getting the tool, especially if you have a Wrangler, because this thing breaks all the time and you're gonna need it you're gonna need it if you change out your brake master cylinder to bleed brakes on Jeep Ram Chevy um, to bleed the ABS you definitely have to have a scanner a bi-directional scanner there's no way to do it um, without it properly okay but no lights on now module is programmed go down the road everything is good everything works Hope you guys liked the video, and if you did, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.